Hi, welcome back. This is Ken Lau. So, wanted to do uh, copy this whole SQIDs right and paste it to another worksheet. How to do about it? And not only that, we want this value D007 to repeat four times because we have four SQID. So we can do this manually one by one or we can make use of the Excel VBA and let's go to do just that then first of all we'll learn how to copy the SQ area uh, not dynamically but static so it means that it will always call, uh, copy the range from ele row 11 to row 14 as you can see here B11 to C14 and as always we'll paste it to B6 which is the this row right B6 but that's not what we want right we want to be dynamic so that the cooker knows where to copy and where to paste it so let's begin to change it to this by the way this is what it does right so we go to that row by row right what it does is that B11 To this and this is the book she called the old form and then it moved to the deal history which is selecting the rich and then go to b6 and it paste it right there so let's just go through that one time one two that's it now if I want to get to this b2 right I have two ways what is that? I look at the screen and then I change the code to B2. And that will serve the purpose as well. Right. But however, the next time I want to copy, it shouldn't paste to always B2, it should be B6 as well, right? So how to deal with that? We gotta know where's the next of the row. And that's is what show here. The next of the row, right, is using this one code. We use go to deal history and dot end and this all next of a row and then paste it right there. And same goes with this right next use row and so on right. So we'll go run this code. And you can see that it will keep adding to the next different available row. And finally we'll use the deal part. Okay, so how do we set the deal part? repeatedly right so we run this code there is the last row and then we get the number of items and uh, the number of items right and that is using b10 scroll down look at the row last row and the minus 10 we get four items and then we also store the deal numbers into variables and then we will paste it using a for loop Right, is it a for loop? Paste it one by one into this this column A, and that's the for loop. We'll explain this in greater details, but this is the code it looks like. Next available row and so on, and uh, we we'll run the code, and you can see that it's extracted. So by combining these two procedure, right, we are uh, we can achieve something like this just by clicking this pitch you see it's located and now if I have a new PO numbers right PA and we have uh, S Y T Y D oh I mean just any SQID you have right and uh, we can have more as well right it doesn't matter right we have this so we have a lot of items right and we just click save that is safe into this page right much faster than copy and paste Thank you for watching. This is Kent.